welcome once more we want to continue with our theme that we started in the other video where we are looking at the structure the shape and the behavior of the earth versus the, the universe and all other cosmological bodies we want to say that uh, blind faith uh, has led to the theory of relativity which is not a science but a fantasy conjured up by mathematical formulas to be followed by many a scientist and many others. However, we want to also look at the other scientists and, pro, uh, 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 and educated men and thinkers who stood up against the ends and the structure that supported uh, relativity. And uh, you will be shocked to find that there are so many, uh, as we proved in the other video, there are so many experiments that disproves Einstein step by step. However, uh, we have uh, uh, professors like uh, Charles Lane. Uh, who is of celestial me mechanics at Columbia University? He authored a number of books, many of them are uh, used in, as a standard textbooks on astronomy uh, undergraduate studies. He says that the, rel the relativity theory strikes directly at our fundamental concepts as to the structure of the universe. Its conclusions are startling and completely upsetting to our common sense. Of a way of looking at physical and astronomical phenomena. This is a very telling fact. When we stand on the earth, we don't feel the earth moving. We are not supposed to debate whether that is true or false because that is true. The earth does not move. When we look across the oceans uh, uh, concerning the behavior of water, which is a liquid, that a liquid always finds its perfect level in any container. We find that the seas and the oceans are all flat, which means that the earth has no coverage. No one can come up today and say Euclidean geometry says that a small entity does not see the curved surface of a huge entity. Because we are now flying above it. We can see it 30,000 feet above it. So we are more than 30,000 feet taller. So we can't accept such Euclidean uh, misuse. We also have uh, Dr. Essen, a distinguished mathematician and a fellow of the Royal Society who stated that the theory of relativity was not truly a physical theory, but rather simply a number of sometimes contradictory assumptions. I'm going to show many of the building blocks of relativity that they came from, not Einstein didn't bring them up, Einstein didn't even formulate even one single uh, equation that you may think of. All that he derived and borrowed without giving you credit from many, many other scientists. I'm going to give you the names and the formulas that they uh, uh, founded. We also have got uh, one of the greatest eminent scientists, Lord Ernest Rutherford. He is considered the father of nuclear physics. He is so eminent <coughs> that he, he, one of the uh, chemicals was named uh, Rutherfordium after him. He said the theory of relativity is nonsense. I'm going to repeat that. One of the most eminent nuclear physicists to live and to walk on the earth, who has an element named after him, or Rutherfordium, containing the theory of relativity, he said it is quite simply nonsense. In 1920, we had, pro we have prof we had Professor Herbert Dingle, who wrote Relativity for All, one of the first standard textbooks on the theory of relativity. Now, his second book on the subject, written approximately 20 years later, the special theory of relativity, remained for a long time the standard work in English and American universities on the theory of relativity. Indeed, when it comes to relativity, Professor Dingo was one of the foremost experts on the theory of relativity in the world. He lived for it during for almost 50 years, teaching it, writing about it. He studied the theory intensively. He conferred about it with all the physicists who were experts in it, like Einstein, Eddington, Thoman, Whittaker, Strodinger, Bonn, and Bridgman. He was so renowned as he was an expert, he was actually given the honor to be the uh, uh, commentator when Einstein died in 1955 by the BBC. However, in 1959, after years of believing and promoting this theory of relativity, Dingu realized that something was very, very uh, wrong with it. This is 
so when you walk around and you believe in the E equals EMC squared and all these theories, least one of the greatest thinkers, the one of the brightest and the luminaries, realized in 1959 that the theory of our relativity was wrong. He spent the next 13 years canvassing a large network of scientists to try to find an answer to the paradox. And up to today, they have not addressed and accepted the foolishness uh, of, of, of this theory. So in order for you to understand the theory of uh, relativity and accept Einstein as a genius, you must read Professor Dingo and you must study what he says. Because if you don't and you believe, you are a blind believer and you are following blindly. And following blindly, that's not scientific, that's religious. You are an, a religious orthodox. You are a believer. You have faith in them. Now, I want to conclude this uh, uh, short video on which we are looking at Einstein uh, by looking at Professor, uh, uh, by a writer uh, deriving information from one of uh, the writers, Neville Martin O'Brien, who describes uh, the irrationality that is woven through the theory of uh, relativity. He says the concept of relativity attached to Einstein's name and propagated by him represents an attack on human reason and it is so insidious and diabolical and so successful that no opportunity of demonstrating its falsity and not only its falsity but to anyone prepared to believe his own powers of reason is blatantly obviously false that it should never have been allowed to pass. And the Guine, it proves that most of the elements of the theory of relativity were not discoveries. They were not discoveries. Guine properly describes them as inventions. So the theory of relativity is not a discovery of a natural phenomenon. It is an invention of an axiom in which they wanted to put nature to follow their law. So, indeed, if one examines the historical record, the only reasonable conclusion is that Einstein plagiarized the entire theory of Einstein plagiarized and concocted the whole theory of relativity. Gwine states that Einstein's works can be searched from beginning to end without revealing a single original thought of real importance. So, here are the things that be, are the building blocks of relativity. And here are the people that invented the theories and the mathematical formulas to support these building blocks of relativity. And they listen, Einstein is not anywhere near even one of them. Don't tell me he synthesized this. He did not do it. If he synthesized this and produced this, he would have given credit to them. He actually wanted to, dis to say he did not even know about the Marcos and Moore experiment, which he actually had actually used to derive some of his uh, stage managed acts of uh, relativity. Now, let's come to the issue of a curved space. This was thought out by Ryman who, by adding a fourth dimension to that of time and in geometry, he created the new concept of space-time. Mikowski added also the issue of space-time. The doctrine that objects contract in proportion to the speed at which was formulated by Fitzgerald and the idea that the velocity of light in a vacuum was constant irrespective of the motion of any object connected with a light ray was invented by Lorentz. Einstein was not the first to assert the impossibility of detecting the velocity of the Earth through the ether. No! This was done by H. J. H. Poenke and H. A. Lorentz. Now, here's the question. Did Einstein uh, coin the name relativity? No! Poenke invented the term relativity. He was the first to assert that no velocity can exceed that of light. It was Poinke who said, not Einstein. 
Einstein was not even the first to assert that a clock in motion runs slowly. This was done by Sir Joseph Lamb, which is the clock, the two clock theory that destroys relativity. Einstein was not the first to assert that matter is crinkled in caved space. No, it was Professor W. K. Clifford who advanced this in 1870, nine years before Einstein was. Did Einstein invent the famous E equals M C squared? This has become synonymous with Einstein and has become synonymous with the genius. It was the electrician J.J. in 1881 who produced a formula E equals 3 quarters MC squared. Einstein did not invent E equals MC squared. It was invented in 1881 by the electrician J.J. who produced a formula E equals 3 quarters MC squared. I repeated this for emphasis for those that think that Einstein was a genius to realize that you know there are people, there are thinkers who invented but did not discover but invented many of the building blocks of Einstein relativity. Unfortunately, Einstein, when he gave this to the world, did not accord credit to these people. But J.J. Thompson, when he produced the E equals 3 MC squared, he was doing it so in respect to the charged spherical conductor thing. When they were dealing with uh, electrical or in the electromagnetism, this is what they did. So in 1900, Point K suggested that electromagnetic energy might possess mass density in relation to energy density, such that E equals MC squared, where E is energy and M is mass. So tell me, where is Einstein? How is, does Einstein come in here? Einstein comes in here because he was used to support and sustain heliocentrism. And I have proved today in this video that Einstein, who claimed that he did not know of the Michelson Mole experiment prior to coming up with his special theory of relativity in 1905, but that there is proof that he knew about this. And there are so many other things that he's, he, 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 he didn't approve and didn't uh, try to run away from. And uh, uh, which is quite clear that he, in 1942, Michael uh, Einstein claimed to Michelson biographer that he had already become pretty much convinced of the validity uh, of relativity. Well, before he had known of Michael Sommer, which is wrong. Because in one of the 42 letters which were uncovered between Einstein and his fiancée, Mileva Mari, he reveals that he knew about this. Even when he went to Kyoto University in Japan, Einstein admitted that he was aware of the Michael Moore experiment and the strange result of that experiment. And in fact, that this directed uh, him to, to come up with his theory of special relativity. So, it is quite clear that the special theory of relativity or the theory of relativity is there to sustain a heliocentric Earth or a heliocentric universe. But in conclusion, the Earth is fixed, the Earth is flat, the Earth does not rotate. Everything from scientific experience that I have already shown, Microsoft Moore, Sagnac, and many others who tried in their uh, uh, desire to disprove that the Earth uh, is stationary and they have proven that the Earth is stationary, is fixed, does not move. And it is only imaginary and mysterious mathematician with their mathematical formula, which they derive with, already with an answer, who have proved that the Earth, or who are trying to prove that the Earth moves. Thank you. Thank you.